Uh, okay, let me. Okay. Terrellin, right? Yes, like Carolyn oh, with, with the T. Terrellin, yes. And uh, I feel exactly the same way, my sister. And it was grace, grace only, because. I don't know what I've done to deserve what I have. Okay, honestly, truthfully, I mean, people can say a lot of different things that you do this, you do that. But personally, I don't remember that I did anything good in a past life or whatever, but the grace came and gave me all these things. Of course, there's been suffering and struggle but it was all needed to come to this point of gratitude and acceptance. So we are all lucky that Her Majesty, the Supreme Being, revealed itself to us in this way. And we have found each other and we have found this platform for the moment Everything is in this moment. And right now, through the grace of God, we're able to transmit and share this love with each other. We don't know how long this is going to last, if this is going to continue or not. So we don't even take this for granted. It may not last long. Who knows what's going to happen? But right now, which is the only moment we have that we're together, this transmission, this message is getting communicated in a mystical and magical way. And no one can take credit for it because it does come from nowhere. But it's here. This message has been around for thousands of years. This teaching is nothing new. Its packaging is changed, but the presence, God, love, it's always been here. There have been many, many different teachers, messengers, gurus that have come on this planet and they have transmitted and shared the wisdom and it's continuously happening it's coming from many different sources constantly we're constantly being bombarded by love it's everywhere it's just whether our focus goes in that direction or not quite often our focus is on the negative and limitation but when we bring our focus inwards we shift our attention inwards and we take a few moments and we stop we stop everything because it does require a disengagement with everything that is happening both internally and externally, it does require disengagement. So we stop, we pause, we take a deep breath, and we're here. And we're paying attention to this girl here, to this guy here, and then it reveals itself. It gives you the goodies. It gives you the diamonds. And as my sister Terlin mentioned, the more you relax into it, the less of an anxiety, fear, worry that you need to make it happen. You don't need to make anything happen. Because mama... She's the one who provides. Papa is the one who provides. 
It's Her Majesty. It's the Supreme Being that is providing for us. It's feeding us. Puts lunch, dinner, food on the table. It puts money in your account. It takes your kids to school and bring them safely home. It does all the work. You can just relax into that and see it. And in that, you harmonize. You surrender, you accept what is, and you harmonize into it. And that doesn't mean, don't take me wrong, that everything is going to be preaches and cream all the time, and things have to go your way all the time. No, they don't necessarily go your way, but you're surrendered to what is. You're in acceptance of what is. So even if something doesn't go your way, an accident happened, something unfortunate happened, you don't lose your composure. You don't all of a sudden come out and say, this is all bullshit, God doesn't exist, presence is not here, because things didn't go my way, and I had an accident or catastrophe happen in my life. I thought that I'm in harmony with life. You are in harmony with life. Being in harmony in life doesn't mean things have to go your way. Being in harmony with life means you are surrendered to whatever it happens. That's being in harmony with life. And you know who you are. You recognize who you are. You recognize you have God in you. Look, when people say that you know who you are, excuse me, when, you, when we talk about recognition of who you are, maybe it's a loaded uh, statement. Maybe you're expecting, your mind is expecting that I need to discover that I am this incredible shaman or healer or this high being that I'm always feeling really high. And I, I'm not referring to always feeling high because you have a human body and human body goes up and down. I'm not referring to that, to always feeling high. It's not about high. The recognition of who you are is that you have come in touch with your being. Quiet here. And you feel the magnetic electrical field of presence around you. You know that. You feel it. You don't have to be smiling all the time or be in a meditative, blissful state that you're one with universe. No, you're still doing action. You're driving to work. Let's say you work for Amazon Prime. You're, you're a truck driver. You still have to drive six hours, eight hours a day. And that's, you know, you're still doing your work. You're a policeman. You're a nurse. You're a construction worker. You're a bus driver. You're an engineer. You're a computer specialist. You still go to work and you work and you're engaged with working. So when you're doing the work, there's contraction, there's issues. Sometimes you're dealing with things. That doesn't mean every moment you have to feel blissed out. Don't mistake what I'm pointing out to with a 
state of being really high all the time. That's not what it is. That's what a lot of spiritual seekers are making a mistake because they think that you have to be feeling like this all the time. That's another feeling that comes and goes. You're feeling high, you're feeling low. What I'm relating, re referring to is the recognition of the presence that is here. You recognize it. 